Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, this is Horizon TV and my name is Abdurrahman Gaddafi Yassin. The show is Show Me the Market. Today our topic of discussion is communication and branding. You want to know more about communication, you want to know more about branding. This is something that creates or nurtures one thing. It follows one another. With me on studio today is Umi Wabomba. Most of you people have seen her in many occasions in many places but today I know her out of, he, she is is a leading director at Kijani Communication. She's going to tell us more about the topic of discussion today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Omi? Alhamdulillah, thank you for ah. inviting me to the show. Ah, yeah. Yes. We really, we really feel pleasured eh? and we feel at peace as well to see you here today. And maybe Umi, maybe some people will just know you out of maybe the Kijani communication and others have interacted with you in many occasions in many different places. Before we get into this type of discussion to deal with communication and branding, maybe try to explain to people or introduce yourself so that we can understand and get to know you better. Thank you so much. Uh, as my good host here, Gaddafi has said, my name is Umi Wabomba. I'm a, I call myself a marketing, communications, and branding expert or consultant with many years, more than 20 sure. of experience. Mm -hmm. I'm a trained journalist. Uh, once a journalist, always a journalist. So that really set my, my ball rolling in, in, in the field of communication. So I'm able to uh, give uh, services in the areas of, uh, say, production, uh, brand development, as Gaddafi mentioned, and we'll, we'll expand more on it. For example, if you have a company or you have a business and you want to package it, you want to present it, how do you go about it? Mm -hmm. that's, 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 our, that's, that's what we do. We help package brands. We help bring those dreams and desires that clients have. I want my, my, my company one day, one time to mm -hmm. look like this. Mm -hmm. We walk the journey with them and help them actually realize their brands and then i'm also uh, being a journalist yeah, within kijani we also do media relations so in case we have a client who has an event and they want some form of media coverage we're also able to assist them do that um, i'm also experienced in the area of event management mm -hmm. setting up an event from pre-event actual event to the to the to post the event now. We do that. So it's really a mix. We call it communication 360. Yes. <laughs> All the touch points of communication, we are able to assist you. So, yeah, that's 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 what we do at Kijani. Wow, Thank that's you. nice because I think sometimes uh, branding, it's like you're communicating, but you're not speaking. So I think that's all today we want to understand to get it to know it better. But before that, Umi, you've been in the industry for more than five to six to seven years, I think. Uh, but maybe explain for us, maybe your overview and your experience into this type of market into this type of branding and communication? Um, I think I will correct you. It's not five years. Mm -hmm. I said it's more than 20. Allah. <laughs> it's more than 20 it's years. years. I don't want to mention when I left college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there, some viewers might be surprised. No, they are ready with their pens. <laughs> yes, they, they will start adding the years. Yes. But uh, I've been in this field for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, starting off as a journalist, as I said, I, my first degree at Daystar was in communication. I was able to work in some of the media houses right across the streets at Nation. Mm. Uh, we were able to set up some of the programs that were, were being put together by Nation when they, they went into the electronic media, you okay. know, starting NTV. Mm -hmm. So I know the likes of Gaddafi might not even know that that <laughs> happened. But maybe we were watching the, the Yeah, program. so I've been in the media, a number of media houses. Uh, Nation was one, KBC is one. Mm -hmm. Then I left the media, went into publishing. Remember, we are still communicating, eh? Yes. So we went into publishing books. I was at East African Educational Publishers, a very exciting time. We were working, if some of you know the African Writer Series, the likes of Ngugi Wathiongo and all. Mm -hmm. When he came back to Kenya after 23 years, I was part of the team that were actually coordinating his visit. So I've been in publishing. I, w I moved into the banking sector, mm -hmm. Gulf African Bank, the, fir the first Islamic bank in the country. I've been there. I was at Takaful Insurance, mm. I was at Takwa. So I've been in a number of sectors, mm. but my area of expertise has never changed. Okay. All these places when I go there, I've always been either in the, in the communications and marketing department. So mm. helping set up those brands. Mm -hmm. If it's not setting up the brands, improving those brands. Mm -hmm. If it's not improving those brands, mm -hmm. relaunching those brands. Yeah. So I, across all these sectors i've really been in, in that space mm -hmm. of just communication marketing and branding because i'm a journalist i love writing mm -hmm. so i've also been involved in a lot of writing mm -hmm. in those in those areas so if you give me 
do a booklet mm -hmm. or a newsletter, I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable. M yeah. Mentioning communication, branding, and marketing, there is some correlation that these these things have yes. maybe what are some of the of the relations that marketing has with communication and communication has with the branding i think thank you for asking that question because we normally get very tough um questions from clients yes. communication i would say is the umbrella okay is the overall mm -hmm. when you're marketing you're communicating when you you brand you're communicating mm -hmm. when you're doing news you're communicating mm -hmm. when you're producing a show like this one you're communicating so yes. communicating is the umbrella mm -hmm. then the various ways of communicating now break down so for branding as you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. branding is all about perceptions it's what you create in people's minds yeah mm -hmm. in fact one of the the owner of the current owner of uh, the former twitter it's now x elon musk one of his quotes is branding is all about perceptions mm -hmm. you create images and people start associating you with those images. The reality could be very different, mm -hmm. but slowly your perception becomes the reality. Okay. I can use an example right now. We had Twitter, we had the little bird. Yes. It's gone. But no, we, have we were a bit resistant to the X, you know, mm -hmm. the black and the white, it looks yes. a bit boring, yeah. but we are stuck with it. Yeah. So with time, we are going to accept that brand. Mm -hmm. It's very intentional. They wanted to move, they moved. Mm -hmm. You take it or leave it, but they have moved. So that's one way of just the recent branding that has happened. Yeah. So bra marketing, branding are a form of communication. But one of the challenges we get even within this local market is many people don't appreciate branding. Mm. They think you just, you're just coming to tell us lots of stories. <laughs> what is it that you're saying about mm. branding? Mm. But the excitement with branding is always at the end. Mm -hmm. the, at the when the client product. can actually see, oh, this, this is what you meant, okay. you say yes. So normally for us, we're in, in the communication field and in the branding, mm. it's almost like you see it before the client. Mm -hmm. You see the end. Then now you start working with the client. So at the end, when you do a brand manual mm. or you do a logo and you say, this is what we meant, Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, now I get you. Yeah, <laughs> now I get you. So they, okay. the, the clients at the end when they can visualize, mm -hmm. when they can see it. Mm -hmm. And so one of my favorite slogans is, I love bringing brands to life. Mm -hmm. So that thought, that desire that Gaddafi has at the back of his mind mm -hmm. that when I, one day, one time when I'm I, I own this company, mm -hmm. I want it to look like this. We help you now slowly create that. And then at the end of it, you're like, hmm. My logo looks good. Mm -hmm. My letterheads look nice. The signage in the office looks nice. Mm -hmm. And then now what we do, we do what we call the 360. That consistency and uniformity. Mm -hmm. Because one of the biggest issues, and maybe we'll talk about it later in the show, of say the smaller companies, yes. is they, they, you, they want the shortcuts. Mm -hmm. I'll go down near to River Road somewhere to create some a, funny I, logo. I create a logo, yes. I come up with it, and this yes. be okay. Th now this will represent me. There. Yes, and mm -hmm. when I ask you, yeah. what does this logo Even represent? Even the colors. You, know? you have no idea, you have no story Even behind the your colors. logo. Why are you using gray? Like, like you cannot share. Yes, and the consistency. The mm -hmm. business card looks different. The mm -hmm. letterhead looks different. You, you enter the office, it looks different. The t-shirts they have done for their promotion looks different. So you're confusing your clients. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll even touch on some of the most successful brands, mm -hmm. how intentional mm -hmm. they are. And, and, and maybe, uh, Umi, let us speak about maybe the strategies of creating this brand, yes. and specifically to those people who are starting a small business, yes. and you want to have a brand that maybe in future will become something big that people yes. will be looking upon it. Yes. Maybe what are some of the strategies as a young entrepreneur that I want to, to venture into a certain business yeah, I should so look upon? Yes, yeah, so what, what we do, and, and we do that a lot at Kijani, mm -hmm. so if you are a young, you are a, a, an SME, you, 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 you're selling, you're a young man who is selling some shoes and shirts online, yes. and you see your clients are growing, and mm -hmm. you need to get out of that little room at home and maybe get somewhere to, to now present yourself to the clients. Yes. Huh? So you have to think through, um, is this business for the long term? Okay. Because some of us just do things are one off. <laughs> I sell a few shirts, I make some money, that's it. I switch the so business. I, so is, it, is there a need you're feeling? Mm -hmm. Is there a gap you have identified? And it's for the long term. Mm -hmm. So brands are about the long term. Brands are not mm -hmm. about one off. So for example, if you're that young mm -hmm. person who has an SME, think about this business, say in the next five to 10 years, where do I want it to be? Mm -hmm. And then now let me start the journey. So we start with you. Do you have a company name? Uh -huh. Maybe not. Do you have a company logo? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. What colors have you chosen? Mm -hmm. You know, there's, uh, there's the psychology of colors. You can't just use any color for any business. Really? Yes. 
The psychology of color, some colors are no go area for certain sectors. Can I give you an example? Example. Yes. If you're in the medical field, mm -hmm. there's no way you're coming with red. Yes. I think you're scaring <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah. You come with calming colors. So mm. if you look at most hospitals and medical facilities, mm. they're blues yes. and they're, they're very light blue, white, mm. because you're supposed to be calm and you're offering peace and you're offering comfort. Okay. So we can advise you that if you're do going to be in the medical field, mm -hmm. those ca there are certain colors that you cannot touch. You cannot touch eh? okay. So if you are still in that SME, so we'll even advise you on the colors. Okay. We'll advise you on the imagery you use for your logo. Mm -hmm. So you, you might have your logo name, mm -hmm. but what is it, the, 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 the little you, you know, image that you want to accompany your, your logo. Yeah, I can okay. use one of the powerful brands, Apple. Yes. It's just a beaten Apple. Yes. You, why is it Apple? They have their own story. Mm -hmm. So we'll work with you. What is the imagery? What is the color? Mm -hmm. What is the font? Mm -hmm. Because even fonts have a story. Mm -hmm. They're playful fonts for, for say, kids, mm -hmm. uh, uh, companies, and merchandise. Mm -hmm. They're serious fonts. If you're a university and everything, mm -hmm. there are certain fonts you can't use. But so we'll guide you. Let me ask, why is it that these things are important in the market, in the business industry, yes. why is it that much important compared to that business itself? One thing is, I said branding is about perception. Mm -hmm. How I enter this room, mm -hmm. you know, in, in communication, we are told 90% of communication is nonverbal. Okay. Before you open your mouth, when you just walk in, if it's Umi and I'm looking at you, Gaddafi, for the first time, I've never seen you, mm -hmm. you're just walking in. Before you open your mouth, I've already sized you up whether Gaddafi is a serious guy or not, <laughs> whether he knows what he's going to do mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. So how you present yourself mm -hmm. affects how the public will perceive you. And more importantly, your target. Because if you're doing a business, there's someone you're targeting. Mm -hmm. So you can't come all over the place saying everything, coming in different colors, you're confusing your clients, they <laughs> yeah. don't know what you... So you package yourself to be talking to a specific person. Okay. So you, you actually... In branding, we are told, imagine it's that one client. Speak to that client. So when you walk in, how do you want them to see you? Mm -hmm. Are you a serious brand? Are you a play? There's nothing wrong with being playful if you are for the, you're, you're saying that you're a kid. kid. Yeah, if you're kids, then yes. if you're too serious, then you're, you're in the wrong field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want that target client, the minute they see you, 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 you actually give them the right perception. In communication, we say there's communication and there's, there's, there's intended communication and then there's actual communication. Okay. So you could be saying, I want to be playful, but the, the actual communication, you're coming out as serious. A serious so message. we package you in a way that you're relevant to your target audience. Mm -hmm. uh, brand uh, communication is non-verbal. So that logo, that image, mm -hmm. that color already affects your audience before you speak, before you present your service, before you present your product. They actually think something about you. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the other quotes we use in branding is this, um, the owner of Amazon. It's called Jeff Bezos. He said, "Brand a brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. That's a, that's a brand. Yes. And I think at that point, we have to take a short break because you have to think about that. What people say when you are not in the room, that's a brand. And there is another question I want to ask when we get back about people relating to their brand. Whenever I see you, I just remember something. I don't. I cannot mention your name, but whenever you mention something small, someone says that that is Omi. What is that thing? I'm taking a short break. When we get right back, we're going to discuss more to understand this brand marketing and also the communication in general. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. Before we took our short break, we were discussing about uh, someone, if you're not in a room, someone might be speaking or mentioning your name somewhere, and whatever that person is saying about you, that is your brand. I think where you are now, you figure it out and ask some questions about you, so in order for you to know what is your brand. And before that as well, there's some question which I'm coming up with, and I want Umi to help us to maybe to define it more and explain it more. There are some people who are not connected to their brand and we really get to know the brand so well and there's some people when you see the person you, automatic you see the brand mm -hmm. into this person maybe what is the relationship between these people when it comes to branding communication and marketing okay thank you i think it depends on what this brand strategy is yeah so maybe i can use one example one of the leading companies in the world right now is apple yeah yeah 
Apple and all its gadgets mm-hmm. and its cult of followers, mm-hmm. the people who sleep <laughs> outside the shop because they want the next Apple and the different, the, uh, the next Apple phone and the difference is just the camera. Yes, we're just waiting. So that's how powerful branding is. Okay. That's how perceptions created can actually become a cult following. Mm-hmm. So if I use the example of the founder of Apple, the late Steve Jobs, yes. while he was alive, Steve Jobs and Apple are on and the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He brought about, you know, he revolutionized communication mm-hmm. as we know it today. But after some time, the company grew and they had to form a, a board, mm-hmm. yeah, a board of directors. And I remember in the history of Apple, at some point, the board actually showed him the door. Mm-hmm. Yet he was the founder. Mm-hmm. They told him, you are now a liability to our company. Mm-hmm. Why? The decisions you're making, mm-hmm. maybe the pronouncements you're making. They're not actually for the good of the company. So please step aside. Mm-hmm. Let's run the business. Mm-hmm. Then he was away from Apple for some years. And then he came back. So that's an example of how you can start a brand. It becomes very successful. It actually becomes bigger than you. Yeah. And you have to run it as a business. And you have to have a board of directors. Mm-hmm. And they see whether you're adding value or not. They'll mm-hmm. tell you, we'll pay you your money. Mm-hmm. As we want to run the business, you're not good for us get out you know, and at it, some point he had to come back because of his innovation b- before you continue me you know there are some even utterances when someone speaks it becomes so it, it goes so viral and people catch that you know and at some point when you utter the same thing people don't it it, it, it drives you directly to the person yes you know like yes. we've seen journalists they have their own intros and outro the moment they mention you mention it to someone people someone will be like Ah, that is so and so. Yes. I think now is is it a relation that I've related myself to that? It's intentional. Okay. It's your brand. And I don't want to mention the journalist, but mm-hmm. we all know which journalist is known for what yes. slogan, for <laughs> yeah. which word. But I was saying now, if you look at branding in terms of starting a company as an owner mm-hmm. and the company growing and the brand growing mm-hmm. and becoming even bigger than you. Mm-hmm. So eventually the business side of the of, of the brand will decide whether you're adding value or not. And if push comes to shove, mm-hmm. they'll show you the door so that the brand can survive. <laughs> so that was the example mm-hmm. of Steve Jobs and even the founder of Uber. Mm-hmm. At some point, the board said, no, mm-hmm. you, are, you, are, you are a liability, step aside. Okay. Yeah. But we've also seen cases where the founder of the brand actually adds a lot of value to the brand mm-hmm. and they're actually intertwined. You see the person, you see the brand. Yeah. If I can use our local example, they let Bob Colimo in Safaricom. Yes. They used to be the Safaricom pages that are still there till today. Mm-hmm. And then they used to be the Bob Colimo pages. Yeah. But people couldn't relate the two. They saw Bob Colibor, they saw Safaricom. Yes. He was running any campaign and he went downtown to some matatus. You know, they were, they were, they were doing some show and he's taking some matatus. Mm. They see him, they see Safaricom. Mm. So that was intentional. Mm-hmm. So in branding, you have to decide as a business, do I want my business and my brand to be merged mm-hmm. into one? Mm-hmm. Or do I want my business to run on its own while I stay in the background? And we have very successful brands that we don't know the owners. Yes. And they have intentionally... That's in the background. Mm-hmm. So it's you to decide. So that's a brand strategy. It's, it just doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. If you are good for the brand and you enjoy the limelight and you want to be all over the place, <laughs> so be it. <laughs> you are adding value. Everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if you're quiet, you just want to solve a problem. You don't want people to know who you are. Mm-hmm. It's also a brand strategy. So you have to decide as a business which side you want to be. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, you, like personally relating to your brand, there are some people when they are creating the logos, they use their face, but in, in form of a cartoon or anime. Is it is it that I'm trying to 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 be in, to to twin with the with the brand or, or this? I I just want it to be just to be there. No, I think it also depends on the type of business you're in. Mm-hmm. If you if if you look at some of the brands that have used the and I, I won't mention names. There's a an, an international eatery mm-hmm. that uses the old man. Eh? Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> that's the logo. That's the the, the brand. Yeah because of the history of the brand mm-hmm. if, if you take time because even in branding we also take time to read about these brands mm-hmm. very old brands have very interesting histories okay. so it's very intentional that that old man is on that uh, logo ah. because of the history how it started history behind it yes and but mm-hmm. it's not necessary for some brands so for example if you're in the say the telcos the, the telecommunication the likes of safaricom mm-hmm. A face would not add so much value. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's what service you're providing. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm telling you. When we speak to clients, you normally have this session where you ask them, "What's your story? Mm-hmm. What's your story? What is it? 
what is it about this brand? Why did you call yourself this name? Why did you choose these colors? Mm -hmm. And if they have not thought about it, we force them to think about it. So that they tell it. Yes. Like, you know, and that drives me to the next question, maybe storytelling. Yes. In order for you to create your brand. Yes. What does it help? What is the impactfulness of me telling a story to build a brand? Human beings love stories. Okay. Human beings love stories. If, even online right now, if you want to go, love, human beings love stories, human beings love children, mm. kids. If you go online right now, if you go to say to YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, mm -hmm. the best performing views, millions, that kids just doing little <laughs> stuff around. Because yes. human beings connect with children mm -hmm. very easily. And they also connect with stories. Mm -hmm. And specifically, we are in Africa. We are an oral society. Mm -hmm. Even old people, when those old days when you're sitting around the fire, you appreciate sitting with your grandparents. They're always telling you stories. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So stories connect. You connect emotionally with your audience. They actually realize, hmm, so it's not just about the machines and all those, uh, you know, the, 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 the glitter and glamour. Mm -hmm. There's a human being here who went through something. Mm -hmm. So if you learn these big brands and you, you learn on how they started, you mentioned about the old man in the, that eatery. Yes. The brand started when he retired. Okay. So you read that story and you're like, hmm, that's an encouragement. So stories connect. Stories are emotional. Stories move you away from just being a machine or some funny looking logo mm -hmm. that someone can give you. Or maybe I can even put stories. Brands are also personalities. Okay. There's something called brand persona. Every time you think of a certain brand, a certain personality comes into your mind. Mm -hmm. If I, I go local, when you think of this fiber, you know this, uh, it's Internet. called Jamie Telco, yeah. and there are ads, all those cartoons and everything. Yes, yes, yes. So every time you see fiber, a certain image comes into your yes, mind. Yes. It's intentional. Every time you think of Safaricom, a certain image comes into your mind. Is it a man? If not, Is a, it if a not woman? an image, a color, just yes. pops. Or even just the, you, you give them an age. Mm -hmm. Are they young? Are they old? Are they vibrant? Are they laid back? Are they lazy? Mm -hmm. Are they energetic? Mm -hmm. Just the way they communicate. One of the oldest uh, telecommunications company, I'll not name here, yeah. they did what we, the, part of what we do, we call brand audit. Okay. So you want to see what do people think about me? So you go out and do research. You ask questions. Mm -hmm. What you said about what people say about me when I'm not in the room, yeah. you do what you call a brand audit. You mm -hmm. do a research. So one of the old telecommunications company was told, you are an old, you're strong, but you're old and you're laid back. You have all the resources, but you're not energetic. <laughs> you're not fast enough. So what they did when they were rebranding, they even changed their colors. They changed the type of people they were using in their ads to tell people that, no, we are not this old, lazy mm -hmm. person. We are actually vibrant and we are also futuristic because we're in the telecommunications mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. So stories create personalities. Cre stories uh, connect with the people emotionally. Mm -hmm. And you know people don't buy, people don't buy. In fact, nowadays we don't even have customer service anymore. Do you mm -hmm. know what it's called now? No. It's called customer experience. <laughs> it's what someone experienced that will make you come back. back. Ah. So stories connect. Stories take them to a certain you know, they can transport you from this world to the next or, or mm -hmm. not to the next in terms of death, but in terms of they want to take you in a certain, um, they want you to imagine a certain scenario, mm -hmm. they tell a story and they move with you. So yeah. stories are extremely important. In you know, country. I've seen some in, uh, some adverts about the, the airlines. Yes. When maybe they want to take you to their country and how they advertise, the, the way the planes are and, the way, and also the, the country itself and everything. You know, you, you've not been there. But whatever thing you, you visualize, you feel like, I can relate to this airline. It can take me there. I can feel comfortable in it and everything. And I think that's awesome. Speaking about maintaining that brand and everything, because today I can start like, I want to, to start this small business and I've selected the, the logos, the phones and everything. What is the importance of me to maintain that blue? I should not move aside to use maybe, maybe it was blue, yes, but I can use maybe the dark blue, the navy blue. What is that importantness into it's, it's branding and called, marketing? It's called brand consistency and uniformity. Yes. That has to be across the ages. Mm -hmm. People come and go. 
but the brand stays. Mm. Let me use the, the 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 brand that we all know so well because you cannot talk about branding and not give example of successful brands. Yes. Locally, we always use Safarico. Even when we're in the event management, for mm. example, and you're looking for deco, yeah. uh, like drapery, someone will tell you, please bring me the Safaricom green. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because of the consistency of the uniformity of Safaricom, the brand. Mm. I always challenge clients. If you go to the remotest place in Western Kenya, where I come from, mm. the M-Pesa shop there, <laughs> and you go to the farthest corner of Northeastern in Mandera, mm. the M-Pesa shop is the same. The color of the shop is the same. Mm -hmm. The font, you are Mpesa Vilewa in Amulika Ivi. It is the same. <laughs> Why? Because Safaricom knows the importance of consistency and uniformity. Why do you insist on consistency and uniformity? Because you create trust. Mm -hmm. You create credibility. Someone is able to say, Apana, you see Safaricom. You ni Mongo. Why? Because you have consistently presented yourself in a certain way. Mm -hmm. You, the, 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 if you want to know you have become a successful brand, mm -hmm. is when your audience actually, wana kutetea, they mm -hmm. defend you. Mm -hmm. Like your person is down, and people say, no, no, unajua ni school fees. Watu wanafungua shule. Or, that logo is not the right one. Tusienda kukuchukua your person hapo. Ah, watu wanakasi Safaricom. Mm -hmm. So, Safaricom understands the importance of uniformity mm -hmm. and consistency, and they spend money to remain. Another word is what? Top of mind. Uh -huh. You don't remember the competition. Uh -huh. So you have to be intentional. For those brands that have big budgets, they keep releasing these mm -hmm. campaigns. So they remain top of mind. Mm -hmm. So consistency and uniformity creates credibility. You talked about stories. They, then they, the customer trusts you. Mm -hmm. You're credible. They trust you. And therefore, they can connect with you. Mm -hmm and look forward to the experience. Remember about the airlines yes, and yes. taking you to these cities that you've mm. never gone? It's because of the consistency of the communication. Mm. Because if today you're saying something different, mm. tomorrow you're saying something different. In the age of the age we are living in now, fake news, yes. Photoshop, mm -hmm. fake everything, yeah. you have to remain consistent so that your client can trust when you're speaking and when the rest is fake. Wow. That was awesome from Umi. She was trying to explain more. Unfortunately, we have to end the show here, but keep watching because we're coming up with a part two of the same, discussing about communication, branding, and marketing. Till next time, my name is Abdurrahman Gaddafi Yassin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.